Hi, this is Brandon with Android Device and Tutorials. Here we're going to show you how to set up your uh, Google Nexus 5 for the first time. Um, so let's turn it on. First use. Okay. First thing it's going to come up to, of course, is just choose your language, which in our case is English. So we'll just hit next. We will not be using a SIM card, and here you go. It says insert SIM card. Um, now, depending on your carrier, uh, this will be different, but we're going to go ahead and skip the skip that. This is just a developer phone. It's one we're going to be using. Um, next, it's going to ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi. And since we didn't use a SIM, this is obviously uh, going to be required to do much else. And connect to it. All right. Next thing it wants you to do, you're gonna have to um, connect it to your Google account. Now, if you have a Google account, you just log into it. If not, you can say no, and you can actually create one here. Pretty simple. Um, we'll go ahead and say yes. We'll go ahead and plug this information in. Okay. And once you've entered that information, just hit next, agree to the terms, you have no choice. Signing in. Okay. First thing we're going to get is backup and restore. Basically what this does is, as you do things on your phone, if this is your first time with an Android phone, it'll back up everything to your Google account. Um, everything you do on this phone, creating contacts, will be stored to Gmail when you download apps, um, calendar entries, things like that will all be stored in your Google account. Um, now, if you have already had an Android device <clears throat> or already have a Google account with some information there, it will also restore all of the app purchases and contacts and things to your device. Now, since this is a developer device like we mentioned before, we're going to go ahead and uncheck that because we don't want it to automatically install stuff. Um, second is location. Um, basically, uh, it will allow not only Google to find out information about you and the way you use your phone, Google Now, things like that, um, it will also uh, try to find your location for specific apps and a lot of apps these days now try to figure out where you are and um, it can be helpful. We will go ahead and leave this on. You scroll down. Communication. This is basically the newsletter to keep you updated with things going on in Google Play, uh, the app market. So we'll go ahead and uncheck that too because we've got plenty of that coming to us and hit next. Now it will pull your personal information from your Google account that you logged into earlier. Here if you want to change your name or anything because you want it different than what's attached to your Google account, you can do that here. Hit next. So now we have Google Now. Google Now is actually a really cool feature um, that's been uh, on Android devices for a while now. Um, I think since Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, basically, it will give you up-to-date weather in your location. Um, really, it, it tries to learn who you are by actions on your device. Um, you can set up your favorite sports teams to get scores uh, in your notification bar and things like that. Um, it is also the Siri type thing where you can ask it questions or search and things like that by talking. Um, so we will go ahead and just hit next. And here it's, do you want to go ahead and turn it on? Things like that. Um, we will say yes. And it comes up so that you can actually test it if you would like. Um, well, we'll go ahead and try it. Why not? In order to use it, you say, OK, Google. What's the weather in Denver, North Carolina? Which is where we are. It's 56 degrees and mostly cloudy in Denver. So. That's pretty much that. Let's go ahead and back out of that. Hit OK. Um, this is basically just explaining how to use your device. Um, one new thing here is Hangouts and your text messaging can be synced together to where everything is um, kind of saved and more streamlined, kind of everything in one place. 
So we'll say OK. And that's it. Your device is now ready to use. A um, few things. Uh, if you're used to Samsung devices, these are swapped. Um, if this is your first Android phone, basically that is your back button, your home button, and a menu. Um, in this case, this one will bring up apps that you have open, and you can swipe to close those. Um, and we'll just do the quick, just kind of quick basic things. Here, it, your notifications, Gmail, things like that. You can hit this to get rid of all of them. In order to get to settings and things like that, you will tap this button here. Okay. Brightness, settings, all that stuff. So that's that. So hopefully uh, that got you through the whole setup process. If you have any questions, just uh, let us know over at Android Device Tutorials. Thanks for watching.